Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my finals week prep makeup, hair, and outfit video. And I really, really hope you like it. I did a finals week hair, makeup, and outfit, but I didn't really do much on prep um, last year. And I just wanted to let you know that you're not alone in this whole struggle. All of us who are preparing for finals are freaking out over it. So, um, well, I don't really have a lot to memorize except for math class, but other than that, most of my classes are final projects. I just finished an 11 page research paper on a philosopher slash psychologist and I had to invent my own idea and it was like crazy and new and stressful, but I did it and it's doable and everything in this world is so, so doable. So just wanted you to know that whatever you're stressing over, breathe in and out and in out. Did you know that if you breathe out longer than you breathe in, it makes you much more calmer? I didn't make it up. I promise. Science. It's science. It's science. So, um, yeah, just do that before a test and hopefully that'll make you feel a lot better. And do it anytime you feel a little bit anxious because we all get a little bit of anxiety sometimes. Some more than others. <laughs> um, okay, so I hope you enjoy it and don't forget that we are all in this together. If you want to break out into High School Musical song, go ahead, I contain myself. Okay, I will see you all soon. Oh, and also, I am going to BeautyCon New York City on Saturday, May 24th, so if you're going to be there, make sure to leave me a comment or like this video, letting me know that you're going to be there because I want to meet you guys and take a bunch of pictures. Okay, I'm going to go now. I wanna be drunk when I wake up On the right side of the wrong bed And never an excuse I made up Tell you the truth So my first tip is to have a clean environment It's super duper important to just make sure that you're in a space That you feel happy in And I personally cannot take clutter Even though my room is always a mess Sometimes It just needs to get cleaned There's a morning when I woke I know something now, know something now I didn't before And all I've seen since 18 hours ago My second tip is to change into comfy clothes because I personally cannot do work in jeans and a kimono. I need my hoodie on and it's okay to break out into dance because we all do it. Tip number three is to make a to-do list. This is so helpful for me. I love when everything that's in my brain is transferred onto paper so that I could see it and understand what the heck is going on up in here. So I just stay organized that way. To eliminate distractions, that is the most crucial thing ever because procrastination is my best friend and it shouldn't be. So yeah, I sometimes go on Facebook and I watch YouTube videos here I'm watching Urban Decay Babe. Congrats on getting into the NYX Face Awards, girl. And now I am just going to show you how to self-control. So there's this actual app called Self-Control, which you could download for free. And then you put in whatever websites you want to block, like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, websites that distract you basically and you put it on the timer I put on for an hour so that I could take my hour for I could take my break and here is what happens Ta-da! tackling one task at a time is also really important sometimes you just want to get through everything that you just stack it up all on your desk and you're just like okay I have to get this done this done this done but sometimes it's just good to just have one subject on your table so that your brain isn't cluttered with a bunch of other ideas going on in your head. And it's also important to save your documents. Don't forget to do that. <laughs> Another tip I'm just throwing in there, make sure to actually type in what you're saving in the document. And check off your to-do list. So the next tip is to fuel your brain. Um, a lot of people just go for junk food, but honestly, if you're studying, your brain needs food that fuels and not that slows down. So I just took a green wrap that has some chicken in it, which is great protein, and stay hydrated.
Now your brain is a muscle and just like we would in a workout, we take these breaks to help our muscles relax and then we continue. So it's super important to take breaks on your brain as well and treat it like you would any muscle you have in your body. So those are all the tips I have for you today. Now onto the makeup, hair, and outfit. So to start off this makeup look, look, I am taking my baby skin from Maybelline for filler and applying that on my face and blending it in. And now I'm mixing my moisturizer as well as my CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation to create a tinted moisturizer. This is great because it makes your skin all hydrated and happy while giving you good coverage. Now to cover those under eye circles, I'm taking my Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer from CoverGirl and applying that under my eyes around my nose and under my chin and just uh, blending that in because yeah I have raccoon eyes don't judge me <laughs> now I'm taking my ready set gorgeous powder and just applying that all over my face to set my foundation and my concealer now I'm just brushing on a coral blush now I'm just Fixing up my brows by brushing them and applying a little bit of brow powder. And now we're on to eyeshadow. So I just took this really iridescent champagne color and applied that on my lid. And then I applied my Voluminous Mango from L'Oreal Mascara. And this is just going to make my lashes look really long. And now I'm taking my Vaseline and applying that on my lips to give my lips a rosy color. Now for hair. I like to stay away from heat during finals week especially so I just brushed out my hair and then I'm applying my it's a 10 miracle leave-in and then using my salty hairspray putting that on the ends of my hair and scrunching it up the it's a 10 makes my hair all soft and shiny and the spray just makes my hair really nice and textured and then I just put on a beanie For the outfit, nothing says finals week like a motivational shirt and this says the question isn't who is going to let me, it's who is going to stop me. And then I'm wearing my beanie from H&M, my plaid shirt is from Urban Outfitters and it's just really comfy and I don't know, I think it's cute. And then I'm wearing my yoga leggings from Victoria's Secret. My shoes are from Target. Now sometimes in my school air conditioner goes crazy and it's freezing so it's great to have this plaid shirt to just throw on. So that is it for my video. I hope you enjoyed. Good luck on your finals. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Bye!